communicate, we're being judged. This is something that we know. People are judging us. In every communication situation you have, it could be your supervisor, it could be your colleague, it could be a civilian, it could be anybody. The kid that you're talking to or playing with, the people you might see at coffee with a cop. Take control. Get off autopilot. Put yourself in the driver's seat, knowing that those judgments are happening, and choose to make decisions that equals congruency in your messaging. Eye contact is the easiest way to inspire trust. Not only do you have my attention, but you're important enough for me to look at you. That I'm confident in who I am and what I'm doing, that I'm not gonna look away. Eye contact is first. Secondly, facial expressions. So this can go a couple different ways, right? Be conscious of your facial expression. Be conscious of your resting face. I did a program for financial advisors last year and I was in the back of the back row before I was about to come up. So I was listening to the speaker in front of me and she had everybody turn around and I got to see the view of people's faces. And it was, so financial planners in this meeting, most of them were like 50 year old white dudes. And so they all turned around and I realized 80% of the room had this horrific looking unfriendly frowning face that they were not aware of. I mean, I made them aware of it eventually. They're trying to get clients, period, and they're trying to get clients to trust them with their money. And I said, go to the bathroom and rest your face and see what they're dealing with. <laughs> I had one guy come up to me after the program was over and he said, oh my God, you're right. I have a horrible looking resting face. <laughs> but that is what people are seeing and we're not conscious of it, right? We've already learned that. Much of this communication we're not even conscious of, but it makes a difference.